person never is glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever, whenever truth wins out. If you support someone, you will be loyal to him. Always expect the best from him, and always stand your ground in defending him. Now it's your time to learn. like this and having the Klieg lights uh, shine in my face. So we'll give this a try. And uh, if I decide to disembark here and uh, walk up and down the aisles and, and uh, sit down or stand down uh, with you, I, I may do that a bit later. But uh, thank you all for coming tonight, uh, for thinking enough of your country, of uh, your duties as citizens and responsibilities to identify and select qualified people for office, uh, thinking enough of those things to come here tonight and learn a little bit more about one of the candidates, myself. Uh, it really it means a lot to me as a fellow American, and it means a lot to me as a candidate that you would uh, think enough, uh, or at least be curious enough about my background and my qualifications to come here and learn a bit more. So I hope you leave here tonight. Uh, remembering some of the glowing things that Colonel Graves just said. Uh, I'll have to remember some of those too. That was really <laughs> very, uh, very generous of you. But maybe remember some of the other things about my background that I'm going to share with you tonight. And as importantly, uh, I hope you will leave here tonight getting a sense that I don't dodge questions wherever possible. I try to answer them to your satisfaction. You may not leave here tonight agreeing with me on every issue. You probably won't. But I hope you leave here at least believing that I thought about these issues at some depth uh, and that my motivations in running for this office are pure. I have a great concern for the future of this country, as I think just about everyone in this room does, and that's probably what brings you here tonight. A sense that we've hit a turning point in our country, or are about to. Uh, and if we don't address some of these pressing national challenges that our country is facing, fiscal responsibility, uh, some of the international national security issues, if we don't address these uh, in fairly short order, uh, we may be sorry, our kids may be sorry, our grandchildren may be sorry. So that's why I'm involved in this race. That's why I got involved about 15 months ago. I started driving around this very large district, Indiana's 9th Congressional District. It's actually larger than the state of Connecticut. And sharing with people my vision for the country, but more importantly, hearing people's concerns, hearing from people like you all around this district. And I found that we're pretty conservative people that we share a lot of the same values. And I was encouraged that uh, in the vast majority of cases, people share my vision for the country. And so that's why I think this campaign has really taken off. It's not because of any personal qualities of me per se. I've taken some initiative and worked hard and gotten out there, but uh, there have been a lot of people that have joined this effort along the way and ultimately, uh, this is the grassroots effort. We're talking about things you care about and uh, our solutions, uh, to the extent they can be called that, our approach to many of these pressing issues are uh, things that you can agree uh, with. Let me tell you a, a little bit more about my family. As Colonel Gray said, uh, I have twins that recently came into the world, my wife Jenny and I. Uh, those came on Thursday, 6.01 and 6.02 a.m. Uh, a beautiful little girl and a, and a boy that, uh, poor guy, looks a lot like me. Uh, they came into the world and they joined my other two children. We have a three-year-old and a two-year-old, uh, both girls. So the young household is busy. We just 